Hey guys, good morning. So, uh, doing a little work here on the P48 project today, our Chevy, uh, 1948 Chevy 3100. And what we're doing uh, today is pulling the old uh, torque tube rear axle out from under the truck, getting prepped for installing our new S10 front axle, which I'm going to show you here in a second. I'm going to have to do some work on that as well to get it fitted into the frame. Um, and that's going to require grinding a bunch of rivets. Go figure. More rivet grinding. So, uh, today what I'm going to do, I'm not going to grind out all those rivets today. I'm going to probably tackle that tomorrow. I've got to work myself up to do that. It's, uh, it's a miserable chore, grinding rivets. But, uh, today what I'm going to do is i got to get the rear axle out from under uh, the truck. So I need to reposition my jack stands because the jack stands are currently under the rear axle. Uh, relocate the jack stands, disconnect the leaf spring hangers uh, at the back of the frame, There's spring shackles uh, at the back of the frame, drop the axle down, slide it out from under uh, the truck over the, over the leaf springs and get the rear end out from under there, and then disconnect the front leaf springs. Uh, spring mounts that are on the frame. Um, my plan is to then modify the S10 axle by cutting off the leaf spring perches that are already on there because they're one inch too narrow to fit our frame width. So in order for the leaf springs to sit directly under the frame rails, which they need to do, I'm going to have to move the perches out an inch. It's only a half inch per side I know, but um, to do it right we need to cut them off. And these spring perches that are on the axle have a built-in uh, coil mount it looks like uh, at the front part of the axle housing so that's going to have to get cut off anyway so I'm just going to cut those spring pads off of there and uh, weld on new ones uh, that will match our will set the pinion angle at ride height so that everything's proper on the rear end and down the road some point we'll do the four link and uh, probably at the same time we do the airbags on the whole truck. Uh, the reason we decided to go that way is because of the expense of coilover shocks. If we do the four link now, we're going to have to buy some very expensive coilover shock shocks to give us um, suspension and shocks uh, all in one package. And uh, then if we go to airbags later, you know we kind of uh, have wasted that money. Uh, on coilovers so that's that's not going to work. Um, I think the best plan is just to run the leaf springs. We've already got leafs for the S10 axle so uh, we'll run the leaf springs and the and the shackles from the S10 on the 3100 here and that means I'm gonna have to box in the frame a little bit where the uh, spring hangers and the shackles are gonna mount and then I'm gonna have to build a shackle hanger and a, a spring hanger. But I've done those before, it's not a big deal, and um, we're also going to have to either build or buy some leaf spring perches. I've done both ways so in the past, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but the first, first objective here is to get this out, out from under the truck. I'm tired of working around that torque tube anyway. It's a real pain to have to try and move your transmission and your floor jack and your tranny jack and stuff all around underneath there with that big torque tube in the way and there's nothing you can do except jack it up or down and uh, it just needs to go. So uh, I'm going to get working on that and try and get that axle out of here uh, shortly. Alright guys so here's uh, our S10 rear axle uh, sitting on the floor. Uh, you can see it's in pretty good shape. It's all complete. It's a uh, disc brake rear end. I'm um, not sure the year that it came out of but uh, it is in good shape. Uh, one of our buddies here pulled it out for us and uh, brought it over for me, so thank you for that. Um, he left the uh, e-brake cables on there, which is great, so we can uh, reuse those cables uh, on the 48 project. And he uh, also got the sway bar uh, along with it. So the sway bar is laying there, and I'm going to mount up uh, that onto the axle and uh, make, make some sway bar links to go up into the frame. All that stuff's going to have to be custom because of the, the height of the 48. The 48 is going to be really low, so all of that stuff's going to have to be adjusted accordingly uh, to get it all to fit in there. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, pulling the leaf springs off.
Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me today for the P48 project. Uh, I spent most of the day uh, ordering parts, so I've got a lot of great stuff coming. Super excited to see some of this stuff show up. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't, because you don't want to miss all the goodies that are coming. Um, hold out the, uh, the old torque tube rear axle. I uh, finally got that thing out from under here, so <laughs> that's that's a big big plus. Uh, I don't have to try and fumble around working around that torque tube anymore under the truck, which is great. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to pull the leaf springs out from under here. Tonight I've got to go pick up our new leaf springs for the uh, new rear axle that's going in it. And then I can start to, well, I've got to grind off the old spring hangers and the old shackle hangers, and then I can start fabbing up new ones. And, uh make up some new hangers, new spring perch and, uh, and a rear shackle hanger mount for that. Um, got to cut off the old leaf spring mounts and, and um, coil mounts there on the uh, on the old axle so that uh, can weld on new leaf spring perches that uh, will be the proper width for the frame. Uh, it's about one inch difference so it's about half inch per side which you could probably get away with that um, just running the leaf springs on these perches but you know I like to do everything the right way so we're gonna uh, we're gonna cut these perches off and weld on some new ones um, I also received the stainless AN bungs that I ordered the other day uh, to finish the draw straws so now I can um, I can weld up our our new draw straws here with some stainless they are pre-drilled but looks like 5 16 not 3 8 so I'm going to probably chuck these up in the drill press put a little bit of step bore in there maybe no more than a quarter inch deep just enough for me to get the head of the tubing seated into the bung before I weld it just makes it easier fitting this stuff up and um, I can get those finished I also ordered up our fuel sender that's one of the goodies I ordered today so uh, we can get the tank completely hundred percent in there and uh, ordered a lot of really good stuff today so I'm, I'm excited I can't wait for that stuff to get in so I'm gonna uh, get cleaned up here and sit down and watch a hockey game so uh, thanks for watching guys please click like and subscribe if you like the videos